Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 19 states the following. The diagram shows a circuit constructed by an apprentice engineer to study the voltage across a capacitor as it's charged and discharged. The capacitor is discharged from a starting voltage of 12 volts through a variable resistor, and after 10 seconds, the voltmeter shows a reading of 3 volts. Given that the voltage of V subscript C on the capacitor is related to V by the exponential expression VC, equals VE to the minus T over tor, where tor is the time constant. And what the question asks us is to calculate the time constant for the discharge of the capacitor through the variable resistor. It's asking us to calculate tor. So let's make a note of the equation and the variables that we know. So we know that VC equals V exponential minus t over tor. Now it appears in the question that the e there is a subscript, but actually it's the exponential, so v exponential minus t over tor. And it also tells us the initial voltage or the supply voltage is 12 volts. And it tells us that the voltage on the capacitor after 10 seconds is 3 volts, so VC drops to 3 volts in a time of 10 seconds. Okay, so now let's look at how we would calculate our time constant. Recall that the thing we're trying to find here is tor. And in fact, we can add it to our list of variables, tor equals question mark. So the first step is to rearrange our equation to make tor the subject. So we have Vc equals V exponential minus t over tor. So at the moment, the thing we're trying to find is tied up in that exponential. The first step to rearranging this is to divide each side by V, because at the moment we have V times the exponential, and we're trying to get the exponential on its own. We want to isolate that first of all. So what we end up with when we divide by V each side is as follows. Vc divided by V equals the exponential of minus T over tor. Now things may appear a little bit tricky here, but the important thing to remember is that a natural logarithm is an inverse of an exponential. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the natural log of each side, and you'll see what happens here. When we take the natural log of the left-hand side, we just get the natural log of Vc over V. And when we take the natural log of the right-hand side, we actually lose that exponential, and all we're going to be left with is minus T over tor. So that actually brings us one step closer to getting tor on its own. Now, I think the easiest way to do the next part is in two steps. And the two steps I'm going to do is I'm going to times each side by tor, and then I'm going to divide each side by what we currently have on the left-hand side. Now, the reason I have to do that is because the thing I'm trying to find, tor, is stuck on the bottom of this fraction. We could take reciprocals, but that introduces some additional problems. So I'm going to times each side by tor. And in doing so, I will get tor times the natural log of Vc over V equals minus T. And so the final step then to get tor on its own is to divide each side by this block here. Divide each side by the natural log of Vc over V. And what I'll get is tor, the thing I'm trying to find, equals minus T divided by everything in that square bracket. Natural log Vc 
over V. And now it's simply a case of plugging in some values. So T was 10 seconds. So I've got minus 10 over the natural log. VC was 3. And V was 12. Giving me a time constant equal to 7.21. And my units there are seconds. And the reason I know my units are seconds is because the time here was given in seconds. Therefore, my time constant is 7.21 seconds. Let's move on and look at part B. Now, part B asks us to calculate the resistance setting of the variable resistor. Now, assuming that our time constant is correct of 7.21, we have a relatively straightforward equation now because tor equals the resistance times the capacitance. Therefore, the resistance is the time constant divided by the capacitance. Now let's just scroll back up and double check our capacitance. And we see from the question we have a 470 microfarad capacitor. 470 microfarads. So what we need to do is take our time constant of 7.21 and divide that by 470 microfarads. Or well, micro is times 10 to the minus 6 farads. Therefore, the resistance on the variable resistor is 15,348 ohms. Or just to tidy that up, that's the same as 15.3 kilo ohms.